Transformers live stream. We got some some really cool content with you. I'm with D David. I'm with Justin. Up is down is still down, but left and right are different. <laughs> <laughs> We've been doing this for several months, and none of us have this figured out yet. Left is right, right is left. Uh, we are going to announce the winner of our Seeker uh, giveaway by Flame. You're going to win a Starscream Thundercracker and Skywarp model kit from Flame Toys. Uh, but before we give that away, we wanted to talk about a very special event coming up uh, that's wholly Transformer related, and it uh, has something to do with uh, Flame Toys. So, David, hey, I did it Yay! the first time. That's Yay! a 50 50 chance. It's like the first time I ever did it on the first try. David, uh, why don't you tell us about the event coming up? So, you know, uh, next week, uh, from the 26th to the 30th, we are going to be doing a sale on the Bluefin Brands website of uh, our Flame Toys merchandise. So, or, or what's left of it, because you guys have been buying it up like crazy. So, thank you for that. Um, and on top of that, on Friday, the 28th, we're going to be doing a special day of live streams. We're going to be doing uh, a one live stream, which is going to be uh, with our friends from IDW, uh, the people who do the Transformers comic books. We're going to have writers, artists, and editors from there. Uh, just talk about you know the Transformers world in the comic books, which is great. And uh, on top of that, they've graciously given us a cool discount code uh, for you guys to get some discounts on, on Transformers IDW comic books. So pretty excited about that. They have a really cool office. Uh, Mr. Clark and I went to their uh, office in San Diego. It's beautiful. Yeah, that was crazy that we got paid to do that. I'm like, what? <laughs> All right. <laughs> We're like taking pictures of Megatron by a fountain and just kind of hanging out. It was great. It was pretty cool. Uh, so, you know, they're really great people. Um, you know, one of the guys who's coming is also named David, so clearly a great man. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that email chain was confusing with three Davids yeah. on it. At one point, uh, there were four Davids, actually. <laughs> yeah, it was quad David. <laughs> uh, but looking forward to that. Uh, then next, this one I'm really looking forward to. Uh, if you've watched the current Netflix series, War for Cybertron, the voice of Megatron is going to be coming and doing a panel with us. Uh, that's going to be super, super dope. Yes, Jason Marnocha. Yeah, looking forward to that. Um, you know, the show, I mean, it was really good. Like, I... I marathoned it in one sitting. Uh, I loved it, and so I can't wait to get to talk to the, you know one of the guys from the from there. You know that would be pretty awesome. <laughs> right, the cool one. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I mean, he kind of we we'll talk about it later, but like he kind of won a lot. Yes, a lot during the series. <laughs> he had a lot of good things going for him in, in six episodes. That's that's no doubt. Well, that's because he's a Decepticon, and I, I think it will bear fruit in the chat and everywhere else. You know. Decepticons are just better. Right. Yeah, I mean, you, you, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. Um, also, uh, you know, we're, we're going to be doing a, a panel just about Flame Toys in general. Uh, you know, some of our friends from different podcasts are going to come, and we're going to talk about, you know, what we like about Flame Toys, uh, you know, some of the upcoming releases, and, of course, you know, we got to do a wish list. You, got, you always got to do a wish list of what you want, and, you know, hey, maybe I can pass it over to my friends that over there at Flame to maybe act on it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, in the chat, we've, we've already gotten three requests for Soundwave, and I would never. Yes. Coincidence. No, I... We were just talking about it. We were just talking about Soundwave, yes. <laughs> so, hey, you know, come, come back for that for that panel, and then, you know, hey, flood the chat with Soundwave. And then right. I'm, I'm just going to record it, and I'm just going to send it to Flame. Boom. <laughs> and, and we're going to keep track of all the uh, the questions and comments that are happening for these panels. If you think of anything uh, that you're ready to ask IDW or maybe even Jason, uh, please use hashtag AskBluefin, and we will then translate that onto the panels. It'll be great. Yes, definitely. Uh, but, yeah, no, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be a great little Transformers event, uh, and it's just it'll be, it'll be fun for it to, you know, to bring that community together. So right. we're talking with, you know, all you guys out there so and with you know. fun events also comes fun giveaways and we got some incredible stuff lined up and i cannot wait to reveal these and i'm kind of pinching my arm right now so i don't say anything <laughs> but i'm really really trying really hard not to, to give anything away i, yeah, I, Wilton, I hope Wilton, i can get one of them <laughs> uh wilton Wonk, wall camp in the uh, chat says autobots rule disagree right <laughs> they they roll right they got wheels and tires. Or, or on the netflix series they're like Walkabots. <laughs> I don't know how many of them actually okay. drove around. They're, they're going to turn it around in part two, man. I know it. I feel it in my soul. They're going to turn it around. Yeah. They're going to turn the franchise around. <laughs> I watched it with my with my ten year old, and like one second, he's like, "Dad, why why aren't they turning into into their vehicles? Aren't they faster that way?" <laughs> and I'm like, "They're just I, running I just everywhere. Can't. That's so great." 
Love he may be picked up. But obviously, as you can see in the background, Mr. Clark is also an Autobot sympathizer. Uh, you know, he's got that awesome, uh, you know, Optimus Prime, Kura Kara Curry. Yeah, there right? you go. Yes, yeah, he nailed it. Uh, you know, and, uh, you know, there may be a few of those available during the event. So if you didn't pick yeah. up your Optimus uh, Kura Kara Curry, now might be the time to do it. Yeah. yeah. And if everybody out there who was looking forward to Tarn and Megatron Kura Kara Curry, uh, those have actually been delayed. So they would have been here in time for this event. They will not be here. So just, you know, be a little more patient. You know, COVID is uh, is awful. <laughs> right. That uh, that Optimus, that Kurakar Curry, uh, we had it at C two E two, and everyone that picked it up, they they ended up bringing it to the register. <laughs> it's like once they had it in their hands, they're like, oh, I can't go back now. It's I, right. I it. <laughs> yeah, and it's and the, the best part is, you know, a few weeks ago they they did drop that there will be a jet fire armor for this guy. So I'm looking for. I'm glad I got mine. You know, because uh, I would hate to have to try and find one on the aftermarket when it's time for jet fire coming out. <laughs> Yeah, Chris Cooper in the chat asks if uh, you guys read the IDW, com IDW comics. They're fantastic. Uh, yeah, I've been a, I've been an IDW. I've been a reader of Transformers comics for a long time, all the way back to the Marvel and especially the Marvel UK. Uh, mm. You know, uh, Simon Furman. He had an amazing run of Marvel comics, and he had a lot of love, especially once he got into like the Gen Two and stuff like that. And his favorite character is Grimlock, who is one of my favorite characters. Nice. And so there's so many arcs that involve Grimlock. You know, he was always kind of like the dumb. Me Grimlock, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Tarzan, you Jane. Yeah, in the cartoon, uh, but in, you know, in, in Furman's comics, you know, he becomes like the leader of the Autobots at a certain point, and <laughs> he's just he's just so awesome. I love Grimlock to death. Uh, yeah. So so I'm a big fan of the comics. Yeah, no, like I've been uh, there. There've been some uh, YouTube reviewers that I listen to that they actually they'll go through the comics and talk about it and whatnot. So I've been listening to that while I've been building models. But uh, one storyline I'm actually going to read is uh, All Hell Megatron. I've heard a lot of good stuff about that line. Uh, so I'm, I'm gonna pick that. Uh, you know, with that discount, I'm, I'm gonna pick up that entire that entire run. So, <laughs> right. yeah. Ad Nonbread uh, asked, uh, "Did you guys see the new Transformers animated movie?" Is oh yeah. Trend? Wait, wait, movie or series? It says movie. I'm, I'm, I was like, uh, I saw the the movie in the '80s and cried my <laughs> cried my little cried tears of just dis, just despair when poor Optimus Prime dies. Spoiler. Yeah. Uh, but <laughs> I'm not aware of a of a current movie i saw the the netflix show but that was yeah and i think what well, last year was bumblebee i think or was it the year before i don't know december now. of 2018 was Bumblebee, oh my God. which Tired. which was incredible by it the was way great. Absolutely. It i had the great. soundtrack to my life in that movie <laughs> <laughs> like all 80s i'm just like rocking out by the way good. bumblebee still available not much left still available <laughs> right <laughs> Get your bumblebee. i love bumblebee i remember i remember uh seeing it and just being just in love because you know i uh, am a huge fan of the first one and a half Transformer movies by Michael Bay, and uh, you know, my mileage varies on the next three and a half films. But uh, Bumblebee was just perfect. You know, they had that, that opening on Cybertron is enough just to just to bring me back. I'm a seven year old kid, you know, in my friend's house trying to figure out how to transform his like Ultra Magnus and just like right. I, I just can't do it. Easy steps, <laughs> yeah. right? Oh man, no, but I I love seeing Bumblebee in the Netflix series. It was weird having him start off not as an Autobot. Right. Like child like David was like, what? No, that's not how this goes. Yeah. <laughs> and he, he made it abundantly clear too. He's like, oh, don't let me in with these guys. Right? <laughs> I'm not one of them. And then like Jetfire was a bad guy, which I know has always been part of his lore. He started off as a Decepticon, but right. it should, I'm just not used to seeing them with the, with those logos. <laughs> it's weird. I know, it's crazy. Yeah. It's good stuff. Skywarp yeah. though. Poor Skywarp. Skywarp. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you go boom. That's okay. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of a lot of talk about Beast Wars in the uh, the comment section. I was a, I was a, I was a big fan of Beast Wars. Obviously, the CGI doesn't age particularly well. You know, it was that first, like the very first right. CGI computer show. But uh, as far as like storytelling goes, it's probably the best Transformers out there. You know. Yeah, I love Beast Wars. Actually, uh, back when I was a kid, the Optimus Primal toy, the one where like his feet could turn into like a little snowboard thing, mm -hmm. that was actually the first Transformers toy I ever had, and I played with that thing. For a long time, I loved that thing. So, you know, if you guys saw, we are going to be doing a action figure line for Beast Wars. Uh, you know, very, very soon. So I'm, I'm looking forward to that. But yeah, Beast Wars is pretty tight. I'm pretty excited about it. And I would be remiss if I didn't get to campaign for Optimus. Optimus. <laughs> <laughs> Instead of the the gorilla, he is a giant I'm, moose. And it'll I'm going to see <laughs> one day SDCC exclusive. Optimus. Right model, Optimus. 
It's All literally right. the Optimus with antlers. There you yeah. go. Easy peasy. <laughs> Just want to see the chat explode for Optimus. <laughs> Make it happen. A uh, lot, a lot of compliments on your shirts, Mr. Clark. You're uh, oh, rep the common writer. Where can people right. get that shirt? Uh, if you go to uh, Amazon, it's actually now Amazon.com/slash Common Writer Store. We got our own URL, which uh, I didn't, I didn't cry at when I saw that, but I was pretty happy. <laughs> uh, so you know, we we, we have the 20th anniversary shirts. Uh, we actually just added some new shirts, some cell phone stuff, uh, and some pop sockets and stuff. So you know, check it out. Nice. Yeah, there's a, a guy in the chat who uh, it must be uh, in Justin's house. The Netflix series pulled me back into Transformers. Now I've been searching for figures to buy. Justin, you've been on a bit of a, a tear lately. <laughs> I know. There's a whole wall over here that I can't show you because it's embarrassing. It's it's literally like 20 new Transformers stories in like the last like three weeks. <laughs> I'm just going nuts. And every time I get something, I'm just like on Twitter like, oh, my God, I just got like Scorponok or oh, my God, I just got this, just got that. And, um Really, really excited. I'm, I'm having a blast. I need yeah, to build right. a fort in the backyard for all my, all my <laughs> But I'm the guy so, that tears it open and plays with stuff, too. I don't leave it in the box. I got that with it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Transforming it all day long. Yeah. Wow. It's so infectious, too. I see your post, and I'm like, oh, man, I want to buy some Transformers. <laughs> right. So I may or may not have bought a couple things. And, and uh, uh, I just love it to death. So yeah. Transformers, yeah. yay. It's going to be a fun event. I can tell. I can't wait to see people's, uh, people's reaction to stuff. <laughs> yeah, people talking about the Unicron trilogy, you know, Armada, Energon, and Cybertron. That was great. I remember. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I loved that because it made a dream come true of mine. When they made Armada, they actually made the Unicron toy. Yeah, I know that Pulse made the huge monstrous one recently, but back in the day, I never thought I'd own a Unicron. And so I had this giant Unicron figure in my in, in my house, and my wife was just forever patient. And, like, I'm, the day, like, I gave it away to because. A lot of my Transformers I've given away to like people who like come into Transformers and love it. I'm like, oh, I enjoyed this so much. Here, you enjoy it now. I gave my my Unicron away, and I think it was like probably the best day of my wife's life. And we had. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's some sort of of fun uh, relief that comes over you when you do like pass the torch of a toy or something like that. It's like right. now I can, not only did I just make space, but now I have room for a new toy to buy. But yeah. definitely sharing is is great. I got to see my my niece and nephew playing with like my uh, Castle Grey Skull and Snake Mountain and that that brings a tear to your eye too. All about the play sense. Yeah. Charizard 450 says best Autobot in my opinion is Grimlock. No no arguments here. Yeah. Well, well, I, well, I remember right? I remember when my car turned turned into a dinosaur. <laughs> I was like an Autobot when he's a dinosaur. I guess he's a dino bot, but dino technically bot, yeah. he fights for the Autobots. Yeah. No, no one ever says Ironhide is your favorite. I love Ironhide. So, someone has to. Ironhide's right. nice. We got a we got a couple of votes for Cheetor from Beast Wars, uh, right, Grimlock, Omega Supreme. Okay. I mean, once they go. started getting to like cities, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it gets a little nuts, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm, you're like, like Astro Train, though, right? So you I like love, the Triple Changer. Yeah, I really love the Triple Changers, you know, Blitzwing and Astro Train. Um, you know, whenever when they started making, like, Metroplex and Omega Supreme and even Scorponok to a smaller extent, like, I just always thought of that scene in Big. Uh, hey, Kyla? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just going, going pee in the stream. Uh, I'm, just, <laughs> I'm just brought back to the movie Big where, where uh, you know, Josh Haskins is, or Baskins is playing with, like, a skyscraper. And he's like, it's a... The figure that turns into a building? What's the fun with that? <laughs> yeah, what's the fun that? No one wants to play with the building. <laughs> yeah. Oh, That's man. Hey, we got a couple votes for, for Ironhide. You saw yeah! Ironhide. All nice. right. Lots of Unicron love. Perce- Perceptor and Trax fan here. That's nice. Perceptor was fun. You know, not a lot of microscope toys. Right. <laughs> you had a reflector, though, didn't you, Justin? When you were yeah, I, I did. I had a reflector, and it was uh, kind of a hassle to put together, and once you had it all three together, then you kind of left it that way. <laughs> it was, you're like, ah, I'm not going to touch it. Uh, just leave this right here. So you basically just have a camera. Right. <laughs> it doesn't work. <laughs> oh, nice. Some love for Starscream. Stars- if I had to pick a favorite Transformer, Starscream would probably be my favorite Transformer. Uh, I don't know what it is about him. He's such a weasel, such a snake. He tries um, hard. He yeah. tries hard. <laughs> I, 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 I try. I, I have to get like every figure that comes with a crown from the animated movie. Like after he like pushes Megatron out of Astro Train and declares himself king of the Autobots, right. <laughs> he's like, "That's easy." And he's because of vaporized by Galvatron. Right. It's like Megatron. You have to learn at some point, man. This guy is not. He's not the one. 
He's, <laughs> he's like openly hostile towards Megatron too. He's like, even in like the first episode, he's like, dude, one day I'm totally gonna be the boss of the Decepticons and you're just gonna have to deal with it. In the Netflix series, I loved when when he got promotion from Megatron and like the reaction they were just like, Really? <laughs> yeah. Really though? Right. <laughs> this guy <laughs> Yeah, it's like two seconds in, he's ready to blast Ironhide, and uh, that bubble beam just gets hand cut off by that. Black. I'm like, whoa. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Uh, he's a go getter. He is a bit of a go getter, and it's fun he's that he's a speaker. That's what he is. He is. They made, they made Starscream to where like you couldn't he couldn't be killed. He had like an, an immortal spark that couldn't be quelched. So like he was just always showing up. You know, even after he dies in the movie, he shows up and shows up in Beast Wars, and it's it's just a lot of fun. I love Starscream. The relentless. Uh, yeah, more love for Astro Train, Soundwave, um, lots of wow. I guess uh, yeah, definitely everyone show up to the, tra- the, the the Flame Toys panel and and just flood the chat and just add us with all the things that you guys want to see because that that yeah. would definitely you know help us out and help Flame out. You know, hey, this is what everyone wants. Let's go ahead and get a Soundwave. You know, Best I'm trying hard. <laughs> Best combiner is Devastator, no question. You know, that's that's a hard argument to. It's hard to argue against that, you know. Predicate is pretty cool. Do you want to see the uh, the, the blasphemous one? Oh, I don't. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh my God, it hurts me just to he's, see. It. He's symmetrical. <laughs> so, so Mr. Probably. Clark, we have a model for Devastator, and obviously, you know, the left and right of Devastator are different because you know they're different Transformers. But he likes symmetry, so he bought two yeah, and made two I symmetrical ones. And I need him to just burn that in fire. <laughs> <laughs> I just look at it; it just makes me like. Yeah, perfectly balanced. It's all things yeah. should be. <laughs> I, don't, uh, I don't think that's how it should be. Oh my god, did I say King of the Autobots? When I said Starscream, I'm sorry. Obviously, I'm a King of the Decepticons. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you for keeping me honest, Charizard. I'm such a huge ha- fan. You always have one gaff in every live stream. <laughs> I know. That was a big one. Yeah, that's okay. It's okay. I forgive me. myself. You forgive me. I appreciate that. <laughs> uh, more love. You know, Jay's letting us know that uh, Soundwave would be an awesome Flame Toys kit. Yeah, I know. What what cassette? What what is the, what is the soundtrack to your life? What cassette? If he had a playable cassette that you could put in there, what would it be? That's a thinker. Clark's, Clark's like, what's a, what's a cassette? I'm ten years younger than you guys. Wait, wait, wait. I had I had cassettes for like. The first five years of my life. Sure. Oh, that's a good. That's a good question. Probably I mean, for me, the first one. It's, <laughs> it's gonna be the first cassette I ever bought. DJ Jazzy Jeff and the Fresh Prince. Parents just don't understand. That's a good one. <laughs> I bought it with my own money from where the Warehouse Music Store. There you go. Oh wow! Nice. Get you guys know how old I am now. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> my first cassette was uh, Bad Michael Jackson. Nice. That's a good one. That's yeah. A good one. I just couldn't hear you hear the sound waves like Michael Jackson, Brad, Transform. <laughs> <laughs> I have my little Walkman on my hip and I'm on, on my little scooter. I'm just scooting around the neighborhood, rocking out, probably getting almost hit by cars because I can't hear them coming. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> uh, yes, a lot of people asking for Skyfire for, for model kids. There are okay. a lot of comments you know, uh, that echo my sentiment, including uh, Stephen Toolman Taylor. Uh, great, uh, arr, great reference arr. to home improvement. Right. <laughs> uh, symmetrical Devastator is cursed. Oh, and another person, oh my god, that Devastator needs to be destroyed. It's pretty agree, bad. Agree with David, burn that Devastator. <laughs> no! Uh, you know, we got a lot of people singing. You got, oh, obviously, they say the cassette has to be, you got the touch. Right. That's, that's kind of the given. Yeah, I was at a birthday party when we watched Optimus get murdered in the first like 10 minutes of that movie we're like oh man this party sucks <laughs> bunch of seven year olds just crying their hearts out and it's all hot rod's fault and he gets to be the leader right yeah. <laughs> like crime has only one weakness and it's hot rod yep. uh, bruce springsteen's born in the usa uh killer clem melendez that's a that's a good one too there you go Even though they're all probably made in japan <laughs> A, lot of De- a couple Def Leppard fans. Uh, there we go. Some uh, let's see, Double O XEF Gundam. I want a Generation One Jazz in a box of Cookie Crisp cereal. Not not a certificate, but the actual yeah. toy. <laughs> <laughs> what? Cookie Crisp. How rad is that? You just pour your cereal and then out. That just drops like a big old yeah. transformer. <laughs> I know. I know for Jazz. I know. I know we are getting a Curry 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 Jazz. Yeah. So. 
there's hope because because Drift was Kurokara Curry before he was a model kid. So there's hope. Any Kurokara Curry, there's always a chance. Does he, does he, does he break in half like how Megatron destroyed uh-huh. him in, in, in Michael Bay's 2007? The power of match. model kids, anything is possible. There you go. I want a piece. I want two. <laughs> I'm like, oh my God. Oh, no. Optimus is like, oh, oh man, you, you broke him. <laughs> yeah, he's got like ooze coming out. Yeah. Uh, Charizard 450 says, a symmetrical devastator, I'll get the flamethrower. <laughs> there you go. Uh, yeah, yeah, just so much love for the Dinobots. Uh, it, it warms my heart to see Dinobots get some love. Yeah, don't put that away. <laughs> lose, every, t- every time that goes up, we, lo- we lose viewers. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, awesome. So uh, the event is going to be starting next Wednesday. It's going to go through Sunday. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. There's going to be a great opportunity for some of you uh, who are looking to get into the Flame Model Kits who uh, you know want to get some. Uh, some will be on sale. Uh, it'll be a great chance for you to get them. Uh, you know, Make sure you use ask, uh, hashtag AskBluefin if you have any questions for IDW uh, or if you have any questions for Jason uh, or for you know any Transformer questions. You know, we love to interact with Transformers. You know, some of us more than others. You know, someone's got a symmetrical devastator. Um, <laughs> well, here, here, here's G1 Optimus. Stop setting. There you okay. go. There you go. There you go. But he's not <laughs> symmetrical. He's got a blaster in one hand, an axe in the other. Obviously, you got to you got to fix that. Double axes. Do it. <laughs> I bought two. <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> oh. Uh, awesome. So why don't we, uh, everyone's waiting to see who won this amazing prize. Uh, like we said earlier, it's a set of the Seekers. Uh, Flame Toys made an amazing set. They made Starscream, Thundercracker, and Skywarp. Uh, and uh, we are giving away one set to a lucky person. Uh, and that person is going to be Chris Riley from Colorado. Okay. Congratulations. We will be sure to reach out in the next day or two to... Uh, uh, to get your address so we can send this uh, amazing prize to you. Uh, just so everybody knows who didn't win, uh, we do have a, another contest up right now. It's for a, uh, a different item. It's for a Ghibli glider from Nausicaa. Uh, it's a really cool item from Bandai. Uh, and, you know, as we start the Transformer event next week, we will have a, just a number of Transformer giveaways. We'll have some very cool things that uh, I think will excite you guys. Uh, and, you know, make sure, make sure to check it all out. A little um, bit of pee might come out. When you see maybe, maybe more than a little bit. Maybe maybe like you know, this is a waste up pot. This is a waste right. up live stream. <laughs> um, so yeah, so yes, I, I love the chat. Lo- love hearing all of you guys talking about you, the Transformers that you love, what you'd like to see turned to model kids. It's just great to chat, talk about Transformers. You know, it's 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 such a, a long lasting property. You know that you know, I was a kid when it started. You know, my 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 sons are kids. I guess that makes sense. My, my sons, sons are kids. kids. My sons are kids. <laughs> Uh, and you know they can watch Transformers. Uh, I, I remember showing them Generation One when they were little and how much they loved it. So uh, we look forward to to continuing to talk to you guys all about Transformers. Uh, and uh, you know, like I said, make sure you use hashtag Ask Bluefin if you have any questions about anything. So that's all I have. Do you guys have anything else you want to add before we say goodbye? Oops, no. that's not right. Um, no, <laughs> I'm good. To by next week. It is Ask Bluefin, right? That's what we're looking for. Uh, yep, hashtag Ask Bluefin. Uh, anything transformer related, uh, you know, or anything, you know, we'll be monitoring this hashtag very closely. So if you want to talk, you know, Gundam, if you want to talk, you know, Common Rider or anything like that, you know, just use ask has, hashtag ask Bluefin, uh, and it'll be something that way we can uh, we can easily monitor the chat. And we can make sure yeah. that uh, we can have a fun little back and forth. Right. And keep in mind, it's uh, four panels, and that's when they will get answered. You're not gonna, you won't get the answer to your amazing question right then and there. It'll be saved for the panel live stream. You're, yeah, that's right, Jay. Use ha- use uh, hashtag Ask Bluefin for that question. <laughs> it was oh. about com- it's about commoner. Don't worry, it's not oh. <laughs> nothing not, not naughty. <laughs> sure. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Ask Bluefin after dark. Should we put yeah. that on? <laughs> uh, Chris Cooper talks about Bluefin Happy Hour. That's something we we've been throwing around. Uh, Justin and I did an, a fun live stream a couple Fridays ago, uh, talking where we toured the Tamachi Nation's uh, virtual booth, and it was just a fun little kickback where you know it was us and you know a couple hundred people in the live in the chat, just kind of asking questions and stuff like that you know if that's something you guys want to do we're more than happy to to kick back and uh and uh talk enjoy toys. It. Talk yeah. toys that's our favorite thing to do with or without alcohol <laughs> leave it up to you <laughs> <laughs> and it's an after hours thing uh but i think that's all we have you know make sure to keep up with us at bluefin brands as well as our flame specific specific channel at flame toys us uh that's on all platforms that Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Uh, that's at Bluefin Brands and at Flame Toys US. 
Uh, and that's the best way for you to keep up with all of the reveals and announcements we're going to have for next week's event. And as always, go to bluefinbrands.com. Uh, that's where uh, all of the sales will take place next week. So uh, until next time, I'm sure we'll chat relatively soon. So I'm David, and that's David, and that's Justin. And uh, 